confessed for today is in Psalms 119 verse 11. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. There are those that are struggling over sin. They had fallen into temptations that, and they have sinned. And their struggle, friends, they just don't know how to extricate themselves from that sin that they committed. But friends, even before we sin, there has to be a better way to defend ourselves. And that is to hide the Word of God in our hearts. When we hide the Word of God in our hearts, friends, we are able to quickly defend ourselves. That is the first defense, friends. And the Word of God is powerful. How can sin overcome the Word of God? And therefore, why don't we hide the Word of God in our hearts? And that's the reason why even in the book of Deuteronomy, the command of the Lord for us is to impress the Word of God in our hearts so that it will always be available, friends, when we need it. Remember how Jesus defended himself when he was being tempted by Satan? Well, he would quote the scripture, the word of God, friends, readily available. And so when sin comes to oppress your friends, quickly use the word of God to defend yourself. Amen. You don't even have to fall into temptation because you, you quickly realize, friends, that it is sin. Remember, friends, that if you have the word in your heart, it convicts you of sin. It convicts you of righteousness and even of judgment. See, that's the power, friends, of the word. Sin should not be able to overcome us because we are holding to the very word of God, the powerful word of God. Remember how the Bible described the word of God? We are told that it is sharper than a double-edged sword. It penetrates to the division of soul and spirit, bones and marrows, and it is the discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. See, even what you're thinking, friends, the Word of God can discern. So before you fall into the temptation, the Word of God will kick in and will remind you that, no, it's not right. It convicts you of sin, friends. And so you avoid falling into those temptations because of the very strong, powerful Word of God that is in your heart. Therefore, friends, today, let's commit to hide the Word of God in our hearts. Yes, let's keep it in our hearts. Let our hearts be the tablet where the Word of God is inscribed and that it will always be a source of strength for us in our times of need. So the better way then, friends, to overcome all temptations is to use the Word of God. But how can you use the Word of God if, if, if it's not with you and in you? That's why we have to not hide it in your heart. Yes, it's there, friends. You cannot see it now. But the moment that you need it, it comes up. And said that, no, don't commit that sin. It's against the commands of the Lord. The Lord wants us to be righteous before him. He wants us to be saved from all sins. Because we know, friends, that the penalty of sin is separation from God. And who wants to be separated from God? I, for one, friends, I don't want to be separated from God. I want to be close to God. I want to be close to the source of blessing the source of life so friends decide today to go with the word amen keep yourself strong in the lord through his word may the lord bless you may the lord keep you may his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you may he lift up his countenance and give you his peace his shalom god bless see you next time bye